I uh, certainly have always loved to learn, and I love the biological sciences. I enjoy reading about biology and chemistry, even beyond the areas of my particular interests. And I always thought I would be more bench-based. But then the first patient I took care of as a third-year medical student was an elderly uh, gentleman, very different background of mine, a uh, not very old rabbi from New York, and he had pancreatic cancer, and he died within the five weeks that I was on the surgical wards. And the fact that we had nothing to offer him uh, was very frustrating for me because it's great to understand biology and try to apply it in the lab, but there's a sense of immediacy when you're dealing with a patient. And I never lost that interest in being engaged in clinically meaningful research. Uh, still, by the time I finished my medical school, I thought I would mostly be at the bench, and certainly I never wanted to completely stop seeing patients. But my residency changed my plans because when I did my training at the Boston City Hospital, it was at the height of the, the AIDS epidemic. We had very limited treatments for AIDS. So that was two major diseases, cancer and AIDS, where our therapeutic armamentarium was quite puny at the time, with you know some exceptions being in certain leukemias. So that basically made me determined to try to participate in a team-oriented approach where we could improve people's outcomes by better understanding and translating biological findings.